name is Samir Mohammed, and in this video, I'm going to show you the check-in, check-out feature of Modern SharePoint. This is a great feature to manage documents, and I'll go over lots of important features like configuring check-in, check-out, enter comments, view all previous versions, discard any unwanted checkouts, and more. This video will help you use and appreciate the check-in, check-out feature more than ever. If you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you. Checkout is a feature of getting a version of a document from a document library to edit it so that while you are making changes, other users cannot edit it. Whereas check-in is the feature of submitting the latest changes or item to a list or library so that it replaces the previous version and this new version is visible to all users. So let's go ahead and see how I can make use of this check-in checkout feature in a SharePoint document library. I'm gonna go ahead and upload a document which is sitting in my, on my desktop here. And when this document gets uploaded, I refresh the page. And so here's my document. And since I have made the check-in checkout settings of this document library mandatory, then it has to be checked out before others can see it. And you can see that there's a red button on the red small little icon on the right-hand side, uh, which basically indicates that this document is checked out to me. I'm the person who just uploaded this document, so this document is checked out to me. In other versions of the modern UI of SharePoint Online, you can actually see that as an icon over here as well. So it's either on the left-hand side or either on the right-hand side. Also, since this is a brand new document and I have not checked it in, this will not be visible to other users. Other users who are looking at this document library, they will not see this document unless I check it in. So let's go to the small little icon over here and then it says the message, you checked out this item so others cannot edit it. So I can go ahead and check it in from here. Or there's another button up in the top. There are three different options. Once I select this document and click on the ellipse over here, I can check it in from here as well. Or right from the ellipse, I can go to more and then check it in from here as well. So there are three different options of checking in this document. So I'm gonna go ahead and check in this document and it prompts me for a comment, a checking in comment. And so let me go ahead and write down my comment here and check it in. Now that I checked in this file, it's available for all the other users to view it. So let me go ahead and open this up and I see that these are the contents of the file. I can go ahead and edit the contents of this document. I can try it in right from here, but it won't let me do it. It says it's only read-only. This document was open in read-only mode, and it wants me to edit the document. Click on Edit Document, and it tells me that please check out this document before editing in Word. So there's a, as I said, mentioned before, that there's a setting which is on the list of, on the level of the library, if that setting is enabled, then check in, check out is mandatory. So let's go ahead and take a look at the setting as well. I click on all documents here, and then actually I click on settings over here, and then I click on library settings, and go to versioning settings, and scroll down, and here's the option, require checkout. So I have chosen yes, which means that a document has to be checked out before it can be modified by anybody. I'm back on the home page and now I'm going to edit this document first. So select over here and check out the document first. Once I check it out, it's checking it out and you can see that now there's a different icon over here. It's got a green icon with an arrow pointing which means that this is checked out by me. And while it's checked out to me, others cannot edit it. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up and I can go ahead and modify this document. So I see that I've made changes and the document is saved. Go back to SharePoint settings. Go, I'm sorry, go back to my document library here. And it still shows that this document is checked out to me. I can click on these settings over here and then just check it in. 
And while I'm checking it, it in, you can see that there's a discard checkout option as well. You can just click on discard checkout and this is going to revert it back, revert the version of the document back to the latest work, to the previous version. I'm going to check it in and update my comments. Click on check in. And here's my comment, which is already entered. Uh, and this is right now uh, checked in by me. So which means that other users can edit it as well. Uh, also, one of the thing is I've been entering these comments, but there's no place yet where I can see these comments. So this is a setting on the level of the view. So let me go ahead and show you how you can add all your comments right in the view itself. Go to view settings and once you're in the view settings, scroll down and there are two columns here. Check in comments. So these are all the columns that I've been checking out. And also, if you're a different user who's not checking, who's who does not have the document checked out, then you want to know who it's been checked out to because at times these documents are checked out to users for days. So you want to just, you know, let them know that you're waiting for this document. So I want to see the name of the user who's it's checked out to as well. With that being said, I hit on OK. And I can see that there's a checkout. There's a check-in comments and then there's checkout as well. So check-in comments shows the latest comments which have been checked out. When the user checks it in, the comments which, are, which they're entering. If you want to see a list of all the previous versions along with all the check-in comments, just choose this and then click on version history. This is going to show a list of all the versions you have seen that I checked in, checked it out a couple times. So these are the different versions. It shows who it's been modified by, the size of the document, and the version as well. So this was version 1.0 and this version 2.0. So the comment before when it was being checked out was this, and then this is the latest comment. I can again check out the document, and I want to show you how a user who's trying to check it out uh, how does the user see? So I'm logged in over here as a different user. This is a demo account. And I can actually see that this is checked out by this is checked out by a different user. And it actually shows me that this is checked out by Samir Muhammad. So logged in as a different user. If I want to try checking out this document, I choose this and then I click on there's no checkout option over here. I go in, in here and then there's no checkout option over here. So since it's already no since SharePoint already knows that this is checked out by a different user, it just does not let any other user check it out. If I open this document up, just to view it in, in Word Online, and from here, if I'm trying to edit this document, click on Edit Document, and you can see that it gives me the message clearly, sorry, Word can't edit this document because it's going to be checked out to someone else. And it just shows me this document only in the read mode. So at this point in time, I pretty much have to wait for this user to check in the document or I can reach out to the user directly. So now I'm gonna go back to Chrome in here, which is logged in as Samir Mahmoud. And now I have an option to either check in the document, but I realized that, you know what, uh, I haven't entered anything meaningful in there. So in that case, I wanna go ahead and discard the checkout. So click on discard checkout. And this basically just keeps my latest two versions and I can click on this here and then take a look at the version history and it's still only my version 1 and version 2. If I would have checked it in, it would have created a version 3. At this point in time, this other user whom I'm logged in as in Edge can basically just go ahead and check out this document. And that's how it works.